let's wait for the uh, let's wait for the theme song to loop back around. I have to say, I am uh, every time I boot this game up, I have stronger and stronger positive reactions to this. Like that first drop is just like, mmm, yeah, let's do it. Like. It's, it's, it's starting to like imprint itself on me. It's like a really, just like a really visceral core reaction. Just like, it's one of those things where like, it's the, like the, you know, like the theme song to a show you really like. And you hear that first, like that first drop and it's like, mm, yeah, this makes me feel things. This is starting to do that. So. I like, again, we're good now, right? I, I feel like we're good. This, this audio should be an okay level. Thirty hours in, but that's a lie. Steam says it's been fifty-one point four hours. The other twenty are me dying and doing things over again. So don't believe that. Now, what the hell was happening? Hey, you have the wrath of God. If you're in an area with no eyeballs, you can take any wall. Yeah. I learned that, like, about 25 hours ago. Thanks, Zelpud. I can kick it down a little more. It is. Let me just... Let me just tell you from the get-go... I've already got the sound in this turned down to like 30 and 40 out of a possible 100. And I've had it like that since like my first screen of uh, since like my first stream of it. This has been okay so far. It should be... It should be fine now. I mean, emphasis on should, of course. I don't want to turn the BGM down that much because I like it. Now, where were we? Let me look at what my most recent... My most recent notes. And also... Yeah, we have this now. We have this now! That was the big get from last time. I believe you, Walter. It's fine. We There was a whole bunch of discussion that happened in Discord today, and there was at least three times that I that was started typing something, and then it popped up in the chat, like, before I put it through. Thanks, Sadie. All right, so I think the big, the big to do. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you didn't actually do anything and you're not aware of this because I didn't say anything about it. But there were probably like two or three times during uh, Discord conversations today that you or someone else like 
I was I started typing something in chat and then someone else someone else you or someone else like the exact words I had in my queue showed up in the chat and I was like oh okay all right I remember getting into the other side of this but I don't remember where from oh here No, but not here, here. Yeah, we got that already. Welcome back to Ice Penis. Now, I can't speak to this personally, as I myself am not am not of the persuasion to uh, to specifically and personally enjoy penis. But from what I understand, Ice Penis sounds unpleasant. I cannot think of very many situations where that would be preferable. Your mileage may vary. Oh yeah, I also have bombs. So I can, I can, I can break walls that go clink now. Hi Nova and welcome to No Context La Mulana. Which is a Twitter account worth making if I have ever heard one. Right. Um, the, the context is basically that um, there's, there's sorcerers in the uh, Graveyard of Giants that conjure some very phallic looking ice formations and attack you with them. And I was just talking about um, whether or not how I personally am not of the persuasion to appreciate, um, to like personally appreciate penis. But if I were, that ice penis does not sound like it would be a preferable type of penis to enjoy. Also, I'm in here now, I guess. So I remember leaving off here. Blood Wolf, fair point. Fair point. I see where you're coming from on this. All right.
So we have some ladies in some rooms. We've got a bunch of fairies here. And they shoot things that don't do anything. We got this one here who's doing some hip shaking. And then she appears to blow a kiss that paralyzes me. So that's cool. And then there is this. Who also damages me. And the hint we have if you can call it that, is identify the seductress, identify those who are truly pure. Now, putting aside the problematic nature of seductress versus truly pure, I am also having a difficult time determining what in the hell they mean by identify. Obligatory. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool that she can teleport. So obviously, among the uh, among the options for identify, one of our options is just you know cut. But that feels like a much too simplistic answer. Like, none of this feels correct. Like, at all. Especially since they respawn? And again, here's the here's the problematic nature of all this. It's like, okay, supposing I've identified the seductress versus the truly pure, which, you know, depending on your depending on your uh your interpretation of those terms. Um, we could go a lot of different directions with that, but let's let's say I know what they mean by that, and I can identify that properly. Okay, and do what with them? Do I identify the truly pure and then murder them? It says spirit beneath the diagram. So, from, from playing this game quite a bit over the last few weeks, I, I think that what I am to take from this is I am lacking information and should go elsewhere to obtain said information.
So what we did last time also, it... I don't think I I don't think I ever uh, I ever scanned that before. That was an accident. So the big things last time we obtained a crystal skull which will go somewhere. And we also have a lamp that stops time. And we also have an old like German grenade. that will blow up some destructible walls. Don't mind me, I'm just looking at how these different things show up on, uh, on Lamiza's, uh, on his hip, on his pouch when I equip them. Kind of cool, actually. What I should have done is look through all my notes to see if there's something that, like, asks for a skull. Oh, also, by the way, shoutouts to the most adorable... Hang on. Let me get a zoom in on this. Look at this adorable little skull face! Look how happy he is to be a little blue skull. Look at him! I love him. I'm sure I'll have to put him somewhere that'll get him crushed. But for now. You got anything for this? Oh, this is a. <laughs> I just walked in and was like, hey, do you know what to do with this crystal skull? And she was like, sir, this is a PC shop. Uh, give me some weights. I waste a lot of them. I already know about the hot springs. I literally have an achievement for being in the hot springs. Yeah, all right. My friends have strong personalities. They would try even the most patient of men. Wow, that's, that's been a long time. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely ace attorney -ing. Objection! This is relevant, right? That was Lucas from Fire Emblem Fates. Or, not Fates. Um, Echoes. <laughs> oh, man. Ellipsis, you almost made me spit take. Well done. Well done. says that you use it with the item button to unlock a seal in a certain place. I'm trying to think of what areas I have seen a seal in, and I can't think of any. This doesn't feel right. I'm like, 
like a hundred percent convinced that whenever we solve this place, this will be the boss room. Still need that golden key. Gets us to. Oh, well, I guess we're going down here now. I feel like this gets me to where I want to go. I'm trying to get back to the uh, chamber of birth. I will literally take anything other. Anything else. That's fine. I still ha also have not actually had the key fairy actually unlock progress at any point, which is also something that is going to need to happen at some point. This was a mistake. Okay, it worked out. And so we return. I am so irritated that it puts a save point right at the beginning of this area. One that I have yet to actually, like, reveal. Hold on, I didn't see, what is this over here? I didn't. get there? So, like, yeah, but... That still doesn't get us through here. So, like... In true La Mulana fashion, I have discovered the secret of the Crystal Skull. It has afforded me nothing.
This is actually a new, this is a new tier. Usually it's like, usually it's what did that do or what is this for? But in this case, it's, I know exactly what it did. How can I use it? Like, what do now? All right, so I still... very much require some sort of item that signifies birth to put in the next room. And I am 100% certain that I do not have it. So I guess we're out of here now. But hey, we did a small... I mean... We did a small progress in the sense that um, it's 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 progress for later. That's something that we would have eventually needed to figure out, but we don't now. And so here we are back in the Temple of Moonlight, where there continue to be puzzles that I haven't solved. that have been that have been hounding me for the entire game so far I have an idea No. But I was told this was how I would get women. I don't understand. Ellipsis, how do I get the women? This game's like equally bad at teaching me how to get the women as like super seducer, but not nearly as toxic. Like every bit is un it's like every bit is una is is ineffective. But, you know, But this is actually a good video game. Yeah, I suppose I should have expected that. It's a good video game made by, like, presumably people who aren't scumbags. Mulbrook? All right, I already, I already, I, I wrote that down. I made a whole new page just called Mulbrook lore. I didn't mean to do that here.
Imagine if it had done something, though. Which of these... Which of these warp points is closest to a, uh... A lamp... A lamp refill. So that, that goes clink clink when I hit it, but I feel, oh no. I feel like I already tried to blow it up and it did not work well for me. So did I miss or is the clink clink a lie? Oh, here's this, anyway. Pretty sure that is not at all the closest. Video games like, sorry we didn't make the ability to stop time convenient enough for you. Super cool, actually. About the... Well, actually, both the thing about curry traditions and also the thing about, um, about meeting the devs. I'm always happy to hear, like... Yeah, all right. I'm always happy to hear stories about, like, yeah, I met the people who made this and they're cool. Because one of the absolute worst, one of the absolute worst things about, like, it being easier to know people personally in the, like, digital era is, like, sometimes people who make things you really, really like are just, like, absolute trash garbage people. And it's like, oh, I, yeah, I just wish I didn't know that. It would, like, not having that information would make my life so much better. Because now I either need to not like the thing that I like, or I have to just go about my business realizing that the person who made this is just a trash person. Tempura is Portuguese in origin. I didn't know that either.
Yeah, we did a boss fight in here and we're done with it, so. Nova, I have already tried La Mulana 2. Not only, and I'm not going to say, I'm not saying I'm going to do it like the day after. I'm going to I'm gonna give like a, a beat in between. But not only am I going to try La Mulana 2, but I am also going to try the La Mulana randomizer. Which is a bit frightening for me because I am in no way convinced that I upon finishing this one time that I will actually know it well enough to survive a randomizer. But it does sound fun. There is apparently a randomizer. And honestly, I can kind of see how it would work. I mean, the game does have Metroidvania-esque elements of, like, pick up this item to unlock access to the next area. Now, a lot of what is... A lot of what is delivered to you is... information. About what to do and how to solve a particular thing. So a big part of it is going to be, like, learning... A big part of it is going to be learning what triggers what. All right, so here here we are here now. Hello, Skull, you want Skull? I have something from a while ago. Somebody has an ocarina. And I am 9 thousand percent sure that I use it right here next to this obvious relief carving of a fertility goddess and then, th and then here is this just here but that exists also Here, child, it's a troll doll. That or it's just like... That or it's the shell horn. Probably not, but let's find out. I still don't know what the significance is of these guys. Some of these rooms where you just walk in and people are standing there and they don't talk to you. It's just like, okay, good talk, thanks. I'm intrigued that there are two eyeballs on this screen. One inside the pyramid and one outside. Don't know, like, I know that there's, like, two different conditions for... There's two different conditions for, um... For you to get hit by something in that area. And I don't know if that's the only reason it's like that. Someone didn't have the scanner? Good God. 
it hadn't even occurred to me that that would be a thing. It's like when I played the Sekiro randomizer and, uh, and the freaking orangutan didn't give me the, uh, the prosthetic arm. And I was like, oh, oh, geez. Even that? See, I started with the scanner, but not the glyph reader. See, like, no, but I think you can play this twice, but the second playthrough of this is a completely different experience. This is about exploration, like the first playthrough is about exploration and discovery and learning and puzzle solving. Whereas every subsequent playthrough is just straight gameplay. It's just, it'd just be like straight execution. So another core puzzle that we're dealing with at the moment is this one. But, like, honestly, Blood Wolf, like, that's part of what I really enjoyed about Link to the Past Randomizer. Is that it really does make you think about and approach the game differently in terms of, like, what do I have and what does it do for me? Okay, so we did this. I feel like we may have already done that. We beat the mini boss in here. So definitely finding the wandering lizard. Is a priority. I don't remember. I don't remember beating the bird with the face or killing the bird with the face. But I do know that when I came in there, two of the lasers went down. And I knew I'd done the child. So I assume it was that and one other. And based on the position of the tablets, bird with face is the first one. Child with the shining pillars is the third one. Lizard is the second one. If we peek into that room, There were three sets of pillars on... There were three pillars on each side. The inside pillar and the outside pillar are gone. Which makes me think we've solved the first and third problems. Which means, to me, we are looking for... The Wandering Lizard that cast off the light.
it's notes time. <laughs> <laughs>